Okay, this is my second session of the carburetors to explain a little bit about these 200 uh, clone carburetors. This area right in here is your Ventura. It's where the E-tube goes up through, sticks out into your Ventura area though. That's your 615 no-go gauge area. This little tube right here is for your main E-tube main jet goes through this section of the carburetor to this center section and you see it's drilled here right down the carburetor into this section of the carburetor which is if you looked at the E-tube going up like this this is where the air comes up through the center section of the E-tube for your main jet and main fuel flow. This orifice on the left side is, you can see it there, this is your idle circuit. If we turn it up and look down where your little black idle jet goes, this hole here goes straight through and comes out into this area. You can't see it good on the camera, but if you take a car bearer apart, and can you see right down that hole there? Mm -hmm. It also has a hole that's cut and goes down through the carburetor beside the venture area. Comes out right through here. And as you see, it's drilled right here on the side and goes into the E-tube. It is the small area right here that draws fuel through the jet through these four holes, you have either two holes or four holes. This one is a four hole E-tube. It will draw more fuel than a two hole, making the idle circuit richer. It pulls up through here, through this area, up through this side, right up this vein, right up into your idle jet, and then it's drawn across Right here, this is where your little holes are. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but four little, little holes right back in there that's right where your butterfly would be. This is your idle screw. Some of them are permanently fixed. Some of them you can get out. But that is the idle circuit and how the, it gets fuel up through the jet, up through this area of the carburetor, up through the idle jet, which is this. It snaps right in here. It draws fuel. If you'll turn it upside down and look through this little orifice, which you drill out, this little jet, into this big hole, which I'll try to get to see. Can you see it there? Mm -hmm. Air travels this way from the back side of the carburetor here right through here, right out the other side, back through here, through this plug where the four holes are inside the butterfly area of the carburetor. Now, the rule is no more than 20 holes, which is three and two, 90 degrees apart, what we call the 5.5 E-tube, that gives you 20 holes. And then it's either a 2-hole or a 4-hole, which is this here, is the legal jet for the box stop. Now, if you can find the jets with a 4-hole and a 5-hole, would be a better jet, but they're hard to find. Now, this is the 066 no-go gauge that cannot pass through, can't stick it through the center part of your E-tube. That, that is your no-go. It's an no, 066. Now, a 042 here is your no-go. I dropped the jet. On the jet. O 42 cannot pass through 
the jet. You can see I cannot stick it through. Of course this is just straight out stock jet that I'm just using as a reference. Of course you drill these. Of course your choke area is in here. This is where your choke goes. You turn around this is your butterfly area. This has a 751 no-go right through here. Let me get the gauge. This is the 615 certified tool. You insert it in the carburetor and it cannot pass through. And you try it in several areas. Cannot pass through this venture area of the carburetor. If it falls through or if you can wiggle it just a little bit and get it to pass through, that makes your carburetor illegal as an illegal carburetor. I just wanted to explain a little bit about the passages, your idle circuit, how to richen it up through the four holes of the E-tube, how it draws air and fuel through the carburetor, and also want to explain the main circuit, how it draws air back through here, drilled down through into this section. You can see it right here which comes out into this small, this large area of the E-tube. Just want to explain a little bit. Have any questions, you can give us a call 423-584-6663 or catch us on the web www.stoutracingengines.com. Thanks.